On YouTube, Fernando asked, can we create an automation that generates AI art and populates that into a Google Drive? And the answer is definitely yes. And there's a few ways that we can do this. So this may be part one of how we can create AI images and populate them into a Google Drive. So we're using make.com, my favorite automation software. And what we're going to do is we're going to just start with a variable. I just find this is an easy way to test and just tweak automations to begin with. So we're just going to say image and we're going to give it a variable, the variable a value. And let's say we want to create images of dogs. So all this is doing, if you rerun this automation, all it's doing is assigning the value of dogs to the variable of image. And we can now then change this to dogs on the beach, etc., etc. So what are we going to do next is add a chat GPT module. What do we want to do? We want to create a image. So we're going to come down to generate an image here. I've already connected to my OpenAI account. We're going to be using Dali 3. Dali 2 is <laughs> not very good. And in our prompt, we are just going to use something very basic for this example. We can say, please generate an image of the following. And we're going to be inserting our variable name image, which in the scenario now is dogs on the beach. There is some advanced features here. You can change if you'd like it to be horizontal, vertical, or square. Uh, you can change the style from vivid to natural, quality to HD, and how you want the response format. So we're going to be changing this to actually get an image file because we want a file that we can download to Google Drive. So we're going to click OK next. And the last part is we're going to add Google Drive. And what are we going to do? We want to upload a file. So we're going to be uploading a file. And now we're going to map it to the OpenAI module. And you can see it's already auto populated that which is perfect. And all we need to do is really select where we want to populate that image. Now I've got my drive dash AI dash images. And you can actually just take that extension there after folders which is the folder ID. So I'm just going to populate that in there. And we're pretty much good to go now. We're going to give this a run and see what happens. So the first module, obviously, just setting that variable, dogs on the beach. Second module is AI creating this image. And then the third module is uploading that file to Google Drive. All right, so that's uploaded. So if we come to Google Drive now, we should be able to open up an image. And let's see, oh, here we go. We've got dogs on the beach. Perfect. So let's do one more version. We're just going to change this variable. We're going to now change it to say a realistic photo of a sunset over a field of flowers. So all we're doing is changing that initial variable. The rest of the flow is staying exactly the same. And what will happen is once that image has been created by AI, it will then upload to our Google Drive. All right, so the image is finished. It's uploading as we speak to Google Drive. And here we go. Is it photorealistic? I think that's <laughs> debatable. It still definitely looks a bit AI generated. But hopefully this has given you a bit of an insight of really how we can with three modules create images and populate them into a Google Drive. As I said, I think we may do part two and possibly even part three of this and seeing how we can automate this further, starting off with a Google Sheet and actually expanding and even using AI to generate the prompt for the image that we'd like to create. So if you've got any questions, please feel free to ask. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in part two.